Hey guys, Nimit here and today I have got the Samsung Galaxy Core 2 and this is a really budget smartphone from Samsung there you can see it has a dual capacity so it's a dual sim and it also supports 14 Indian languages as mentioned on the box and here is the model number along with few special features of the same there you can see and back side there is nothing and here you will be having the IMEN number along with the color and here this package comes with some Vodafone offer that allows 1 GB of data and there you can see it costs around 8490 rupees on the box but it's available at really low price on online market the box looks slick it's a good now just open it and there you can see the device it pretty much looks good it's having a 4.5 inch display and there you can go this is the ideal Samsung Galaxy devices design there is, on the right there is a power key and nothing else there is the power key and here is an 5 megapixel camera along with LED flash and the speaker with the Samsung branding and at the bottom there is a mic along with a USB charger and on the left there is there are volume dongle and there you can see the silver plastic finish and on the top there is an 3.5 mm jack and there is the main home key along with back and menu the speaker and a now just look what all comes inside the box here are few booklets and pamphlets they are tied up together just get get it out and let's look what what is this and this is some quick start guide we'll be just looking at this and there is the warranty card and this is some certification information and this has some customer information and all and some information just put that aside and let's check other stuff there is a white ear earpiece we have bought a black color device though Samsung gives the white earpiece they are not the budded ones the normal earbuds but the good feature is it has the mic along with the earpiece and there you can see the 3.5 mm gold plated jack and there is an phone charger the universal phone charger from Samsung this is good that they provide a separate USB for the same there you can see this USB data data cable and here is the battery this is a 2100 mAh battery which is very much good for this device there you can see the lithium ion 2100 mAh Samsung battery mm, there is nothing inside the box left now now let's go on with the boot up of Samsung Galaxy Core 2 first let's put the battery in and 
there you can see there are there is a dual sim slot and here we have to insert the sim 1 and the sd card and the sim 2 slot is pretty much outside the device so we can remove it even without removing the battery let's insert the battery now so i am booting this phone for the first time hope the battery is charged few clips and there you go it gives an haptic feedback and there you go the phone has started up the samsung logo and there you go this is quite quick let me skip all this stuff for now i will go on with it later so there are pretty many steps to go on with just allow me to just skip it So yeah, finally we have done and this is the device and the display is really quite good but the touch feedback is quite at a negative side but it's good at this price and let's check out with the AI version it comes, it comes with the 4.4.2 Android KitKat version, there you can see the Android 4.4.2. We hope that the lollipop will be soon available for this device. Let's check out the camera feature on the same. Allow me to take a random pick of this object and it focuses quite well. And a quick these are few variations on camera if you need the auto mode, continuous mode, sound and shot mode and the panorama, the sport, night these are few of the variations that you can add up to the camera feature now let's check the pic that I have just now taken and there you can see the 5 megapixel shooter really does a good job here there you can see it gives a good outcome there you can see the pixels are really not that pixelated there you can see the picture quality is really good according to the 5 megapixel shooter there you can see so the camera is a plus point for this device and now let's check the front facing camera the, the, the front facing camera is a VGA camera that really does not does a that good job but it's ok for a 3G calling or a Skype calling there you can see the quality now let's check the pic there you can see it's not that good but ok for this device mm. that's it guys this was the unboxing and review of the samsung galaxy code 2 a budget smartphone from the samsung so thank you guys for watching